What is going on Apricot here? Today I'll be showing you guys how to easily, well relatively easily, beat the Headless Ape and his lady friend. So let's jump right in. Now, I have three basic rules for the 1v1 fight. Uh, the first rule is, don't attack. Mostly you'll be on the defensive deflecting. And then when there's an opening after a successful sort of sequence of deflections, you can attack. Which brings me into my second point, don't get greedy when attacking. Um, because generally after that happens, he's gonna, uh, and then after he recovers, he's gonna go into that uh, perilous attack, that one there. You really don't want to be in the vicinity when that goes down. And the third point is that attack you just saw, the sweeping attack with the red kanji uh, character. And that one. Uh, you want to definitely look out for those and get out of the way when that happens. Or jump over the attack if it's the other uh, sweeping attack. And in terms of the deflections, you'll get the timings and you'll, you'll get the hang of those after a few rounds if you're not, you know, familiar with this fight. And then comes in the second one, the lady, the lady ape, basically. Now the biggest thing in this uh, fight is patience as well as a bit of luck. What you want to do is, you want to have the shuriken um, prosthetic on. Uh, the more upgraded the better, it does more damage. And what you want to do is hold and release and keep wailing on that female brown ape. It doesn't look like a female, but it's a female, or so I'm told. And also you might get hit if you're as bad as me. <laughs> it's just, you know, sometimes you get greedy, you stand in place for too long, and then this guy snaps you. But anyway, just keep running around. Keep definitely away, and try to sort of separate them. Keep them both away. Now, keep hitting, keep hitting from afar. You don't even, you know, you don't need to go in close for any hits. And when that happens, that's actually good because the guardian ape stays back, yells into the wind, and you can just get in closer, stay as far away as you like, and get rid of that guy. Well, that girl. And then it's back to the 1v1. I almost got trapped there and killed, but never mind that. Back to the 1v1, same rules as before, nothing changes. Just deflect. I didn't get a single deflect there, <laughs> so that's nice. Just make sure you're always uh, full health, so you're not instantly killed. Get those parry timings. Generally, after two successful parries, he's gonna do that massive attack, and then if you parry that one, he's gonna it's gonna do massive uh, posture damage. I should mention at this point that the spear can actually do tons of damage when you successfully parry that massive attack, which will uh, cause the little centipede thing to crawl out of his neck and when that happens that means you've done a shit ton of damage but the thing is if you want to use the spear you're gonna have to um, like use uh, emblems and those ones you really want them for the shurikens that is how you beat this guy so the most important part is patience keep your distance thwack away at the second lady and you can get yourself two beads and a memory to increase your attack. That is it for this video. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.